I want to have a large pond, about five acres of water, surrounded by several little buildings, like a village. Oh, and make it with his water. ceremonial car, Larry contemplates the coming battle with Microsoft. People make a terrible mistake of thinking IBM is the present and Microsoft is the future. I think IBM is the past and Microsoft is the present and the future has not happened, so we don't know what company, what technology is going to be dominant. These are temple guardians from Kam the Kamakura period, uh, and they, you know, you'd have one on either side of your door, and the job was to, to scare employees of Microsoft away and keep them from entering the temple. We shouldn't spend all of our time wringing our hands about, you know, Microsoft, you know, Microsoft world domination. That uh, there's pl still room left for innovation. There's go there's going to be change, and Microsoft's future is not assured. That's how, well, anything good for the internet, huh? yeah, we're very supportive of, because the internet does not require a PC. Larry believes the PC will be replaced with a cheap device he calls an information appliance. It will be a glorified television which will access information and computing simply by connecting to giant computers via the internet. Just like turning on a tap and the PC will go the way of the well and the bucket. I hate the PC with a passion. I mean, me going down to the store and buying Windows 95, gotta get in my car, drive down to drive down to a store, buy a bo cardboard box full of bits, you know, you know, encoded on a piece of plastic, a CD-ROM, bring it home, read a manual, and install this thing. You must be kidding! You know, put the stuff on the net. It's bits. Don't put bits in cardboard. Cardboard in trucks. Trucks to stores. Me, you know, me go to the store. You know, pick this stuff out. It's insane. Okay, I love the internet. I want information, you know, it, come, it flows across the wire. If you want to see an awesome clip of a young Bill Gates, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. He and his two sisters grew up in Seattle. Their father, William H. Gates II, was a Seattle attorney. Mary Gates, their late mother, was a school teacher.